Yeah, just to let you guys know, um, I couldn't read until I was in fourth grade. Um, I went through all the testing, trying to figure out what was wrong with me, and they found out that I had an IQ around like 120, which was way above normal. So they were like, we have no idea. I personally have no phonics ability. I can't sound words out. So if I see a word and I don't know what it is right away, I, I can't sound it out. They also, they all have ADHD. Do you guys know what that is? Yeah. Yes. Attention deficit disorder. Attention ADD. deficit hyperactive disorder. Yes. So that basically means these people, um, their ability to concentrate is a lot less than our ability. So it's not because they're any dumber or smarter or anything. It's just the level in their brain is different. The level of some chemical. And have you guys ever heard of Arrow? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Adderall for eight people with ADD, and it's a drug. You've heard of Adderall, right? Okay. The reason I'm saying this, you should never do Adderall and take it to concentrate if you don't have ADD, yeah. because it can make it so you do have ADD. It has the reverse effect on people that don't move. <clears throat> so it'll like tighten your, your um, concentration for a short while, but if you keep using it, it lowers it. Yeah. So you will need it eventually. <laughs> Just because you don't have a physical disability, that doesn't mean you won't. I'm not trying to scare any of you guys, but it's possible. You know who this is? Stephen Hawking. Yes. The gentleman's name is Stephen Hawking, and he has what's... Uh, it's called Lou Gehrig, but it's also called... ALS. Yes, yeah. ALS. Have you guys heard of it? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. My grandpa died of it. Okay. Then you know what it is. Yes. ALS is a genetic disorder that is passed down from parents to siblings and so on. And you can be completely normal growing up, and then eventually you'll start losing control of your basic muscle functions. And usually what happens is someone will pass away from it because their lungs stop working. And you guys know you... You have to have lungs, right? Yeah. <laughs> what about him? There you go. Did it say that on there? No, we were we learning it in social studies. Ah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is a picture of FDR while he was the governor of New York. This was him a couple of years later when he was the president. And does anyone notice what he's sitting on? Sitting on a wheelchair because he had polio. Very good. He was on a wheelchair because he had polio. <laughs> All right, this guy, this is not Superman. Oh, wow. it, it's also, it's not Clark Kent. <laughs> and, and it's not Kal-El. Oh. What is the name of the actor? Can I give you a hint? First name's Christopher? Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to tell you, that is like, how many, how many classes have I done? At least three out of five. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this is Christopher Columbus. He sailed the ocean blue. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's more than 92. Yeah, it became Superman. So his real name is Christopher Reed, and this is what happened. See, um, not to scare you guys at all. And he fell off the horse, and he broke his neck. So because of that, what? Yeah, he broke a bunch of vertebrae, I don't know. He cut the um, spinal cord, mm -hmm. so he could no longer use from his neck down. So actually, this thing right here is called the trach, and he actually has it because it's connected to a ventilator. Oh. Have you guys ever heard of something called an iron lung? Yeah. yeah. Or, um, yeah, ventilator. When people go on life support, he's on, he was on it all the time. And he unfortunately has died from that. 